All right, so today I'm at the cemetery in Grandans, close to the Blessed Sacrament RC Church, Catholic Church. And I'm here because it's the occasion of all souls and all saints. And it's a Catholic celebration of the saints, persons who have died and that they have believed um, have entered heaven. So they are called saints. Then tomorrow we'll have all souls, which is for those who have departed, they have died as well, but they are still waiting to enter into heaven. And so on both days, um, people would come to the cemeteries, they would clean up the graves. So if you look behind me, you will see some people who are cleaning up a relative's grave. They, they would remove weeds, they would paint the graves, um, they might put stones around to have way to have a kind of form. They would put sand on top of the graves. So we're gonna talk to a few people around the grave who are cleaning up, why they're doing it, um, you know, what it means to them and so on. Okay. Okay. I like that. 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 I like I like that. I like that. I like that. I my head. Mm -hmm. you know, not only that, but to make sure that we preserve the site and rest in place. Because if you don't do that, sooner or later you don't have an idea as exactly where, you, where your relative is. is. Yeah, yeah. You know? I should probably take this out. So for me, it is very tradition. Mm -hmm. I grew up and made this in place, and I'm just right following here. tradition. Yeah, so this gentleman is painting a built-up grave of a relative, I assume, in preparation for all saints and all souls, which is tonight. What I'm doing, I'm just I'm trying to make these folks in a happy. Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. <laughs> and son is here. Father. Mother, aunt, and son. The one with the cross. Okay. What? I'm a grandmother. I'm a cross Oh, that's how you these, mark them with the yeah, crosses. I, I build all these crosses. Okay, okay. So this is a grave that has not been built up yet. So he's, I don't know, freshening it up if you want to call it that. He raised it. Right, he's raising the grave. He told me. All right. <laughs> all right. So we're walking through the cemetery in grand dance and this is the day view <laughs> so they after they raise the beds they put sand and then flowers this is an unusual one right here this is the grave of a water taxi operator so they made his grave in the shape of a boat this one here is painted in all blue this one is a tomb here the sea is right there the famous granddad's beach is in the distance right there you see the beach chairs and the catholic church blessed sacrament church is right here as well the gentleman we were speaking with just now said he builds a lot of his graves so he did this one in purple and white and he has a cross on the side that's the main road up above hello how are you all right and then in the night they would return the night the two nights november 1st and 2nd they would return to actually light candles on the grave all righty so we are back in the granite cemetery as promised as i told you when it gets dark, around 6 o'clock, everything starts up. So it is now 7.25 and there is quite a number of people here. Um, usually it's family members and friends who come out to remember and pray for 
their loved ones who have died. So everybody's out. They're lighting candles on their relatives' graves. They are talking, chatting, socializing. It's, it's a social event for the church's tradition. But um, many people come here to remember their loved ones, even pray for the repose of their loved ones. So nowadays it's a big line or hangout for people. Strange enough as it may seem, you're hanging out in a cemetery. But it's a big, it's a big line. Um, people sell, vendors sell things to drink, snacks and all that. So this is what happens. For me when I was growing up, I remember two things. I remember eating Hashem. And Hashem is a snack that's made from grounded corn that is then that it's patched first, then grounded and then mixed with sugar and some other spices. And then I remember playing with the candles corn. That was fun for some reason. <laughs> so when the candles melt, you know you play with that. Um, I'm gonna show you around a bit, um, show you what people do um, basically. Mm -hmm, like so. The night time this is what happens all souls and all saints family members of the deceased come out and they light candles on the grave this is what happens this is the way it looks it's actually a beautiful sight i am not one for these sort of things but um it's tradition and this is what you see all around the island at this time of the year on these two days Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Saint Stephen, Saint Thomas, Saint Teresa, Saint Catherine. So the priest is calling out the name of saints of the Catholic Church right now. It's a little bit noisy because the road is right here and there's a lot of traffic, everybody's going on to the road. He's calling out the names of saints. So right where you see that cross, that's where the priests are. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the priest is calling out the name of saints of the Catholic Church right now. It's a little bit noisy because the road is right here and there's a lot of traffic. Everybody's going on to the road. He's calling out the names of saints of the Catholic Church. Thank you. 
Satan joined us to the prayer. And he said, us of what our faith teaches us, that our souls do not die, but rather are transformed into new life through Christ our Lord. So right there you see that cross, that's where the priests are. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I have to say that every year I am very, very happy and very glad to see all of you who are coming here to pay their respect to your loved ones, their memory alive. I want to say that this is, this is very important and beautiful tradition to teach your children that they always should remember and take care of I think a deacon or a priest who is going around blessing the graves. He is sprinkling holy water onto the graves. this morning so it's all lit up tonight and the family members are around it the way it works and that's a priest who just came to bless it.